Hector Denzel, how can I implement velocity banking with my mortgage since I no longer have an escrow account? How do I pay the taxes and insurance of the property? Cash, right, is one option. Uh, if you have a debt tool, you can run it through the debt tool. If you're doing infinite banking, you can run your taxes through an infinite banking policy. A couple of ways to do it. James says, it's amazing how math works. Sure is. Sure is. Infinite satisfaction. I've been with Denzel three months, already reduced my mortgage from 79K to 54K. It is real. Okay, good question here. See, uh, uh, Rosario, what if you need money a few more days before payday? You will get charged interest, right? Correct. Which is why in that, in one of the steps when I mentioned every three to five days, you withdraw money back out of the line of credit into your checking account so that you remove the need to get more money. You analyze all your bills, all your expenses. So let's say, back to that example, I take 12 grand out, make a chunk, I dump my income in 11 grand, I take expenses out over the course of 30 days. Let's say over a five day period, I'm gonna spend $2,000. What you could do is take out a buffer, $2,200 over the next five days. By the time you approach day five, in day four, you're already pulling more money out to go another three to five days. So you remove that, that need, right? And it, and it solves for keeping more money in the line of credit for as long as possible. Yep, infinite is like, use your debt weapon. You know, ain't no, ain't no, uh, no issue there. Don't overthink this stuff. It, you know, don't, don't, don't get confused with the terminology. Just see the template for what it is and then apply it into your own finance. It's gonna, it's gonna help you. How do I pay if I have a car lease? You don't. Ideally, you don't want to pay off a car lease early. You're not saving money on interest. You're not, it's, it's, it's a set term, set payment, nothing changes. So ideally, I wouldn't want to pay off a lease early, wouldn't make sense. If I have 5,000 at 0% until April 2020, should I pay the monthly minimum payment and use the cash flow towards another debt? Yes. Then how do I handle the debt when time is up? You make a chunk at that. So if you have a credit card at 0% and you have a line of credit that you're using for velocity banking, you make a chunk that allows you to hit zero or close to zero or enough space in the line of credit so that by the time you get to the credit card, you're able to make a, a, enough of a chunk payment out of line of credit to the credit card, you pay the credit card off in full, you avoid interest, you got your cashback rewards or whatever, you shifted, you know, debt, shifted expenses 0%, and that makes the process easier. Marcus says, what source do you purchase your precious metals through? So I'll just, um, if you go to my website, you go to resources, denzelrodriguez.com, you go to my resources section. I buy my gold from a company called Carrot Bars, is one location. The second location is, um, Wealth Dynamics, D Y N A M X. You can look them up. They have a YouTube channel. I believe it's called Wealth Dynamics or Jerry Feta is his name. Nice guy, 10X man. Uh, he operates like a king. I'm not sure if he's a kingdom man, but he certainly operates like a king. And I buy gold and silver from him as well. What should I pay off first? 26.99% loan for. HVAC or 24 credit card at 29.99. If you do not have a debt tool, you're better off tackling the credit card debt first. Number one, it's a higher interest rate. It's probably a lower um, balance. If the 26.99 is in fact a lower payment, right? I mean, not a lower payment, lower balance, like an extremely large, like there's only like 2000 left, but you have a $10,000 credit card. I think I would be compelled to go after that loan, especially if there's not, you're at the end of the amortization. So there's really not much interest left. I could probably kill that off. Um, or because of that very reason, we go after the higher, do a bit of a debt avalanche because we're trying to reposition for a line of credit. So if you, so if you do not have a line of credit, you're probably better off tackling that specific credit card because it's a higher rate, 
higher interest, higher costs. And we can do a little bit of velocity banking and debt snowball together on that credit card to knock it down, to position us to get a line of credit, to then come back to the loan and wipe it out, depending on what the balance is. So hopefully that helps. Infinite's like, hey, depends on your debt tool, cash flow. Yep, got to know your numbers. If you are on forbearance, you can't chunk parentheses Wells Fargo because all the chunk will go to interest first. So I know there's probably a, quite a few people who are in mortgage forbearance. I don't agree with mortgage forbearance. I don't think you should be implementing mortgage forbearance if you don't need to, because I think it's going to put you in a bind. For example, if you're trying to get a line of credit and you're in mortgage forbearance, they might not approve you based off of that, even though you're still reporting current. They might not approve you. Also, your credit score might drop significantly because the credit bureaus are writing a note that you're technically in forbearance, but you're not, but you are. So it's like, not fun. My current FICO is 630, I owe 18,000 in credit cards, 30K loan, car loan, 108,000 student loans, and I'm in the student loan forgiveness program. I thought you were gonna have a question with that. Okay, here it is. I will be selling my house soon and should have 50K after that and able to request apply for a PLOG given my debt aforementioned question mark. Probably not. Any suggestions? God bless. My suggestion, learn about the kingdom. Watch my videos. Learn about the line of credit, the process, how to obtain a line of credit. Watch my videos. Take time. Take out all the guessing work before you apply. You know, learn the concept before you apply it. Pam Pag says, Mr. Denzel, I'm interested in starting a savings asset through Guardian Life Insurance Company of America. Looking forward to talk with you or someone on your team. We'll be contacting you via email. If you look at the description below, you'll see, uh, it'll say like ready to start your high cash value life insurance policy. Click here. That'll take you directly to the source, right? So it's design your high cash value life insurance policy here. In the, in the description below, it'll take you right to the source. You'll be in communication with a qualified life insurance agent to talk about creating that savings asset through Guardian Life Insurance Company that you want to do, and they will design it on your behalf.